In the heart of all the San Francisco Bay Area has to offer is a place, a community like no other, with a lifestyle and with people that invite you to discover its treasure. That place is Moraga. Tucked in the foothills of the East Bay Area, Moraga offers a unique and beautiful location for a community whose personality is defined by blending its natural environment with a sense of pride and commitment from all who live there. Moraga is just a short distance from major metropolitan attractions, yet Moraga has a comfortable separation, a serenity in its country environment. It feels as if you live in the country, but yet you're close enough to everything. When I leave San Francisco every day to come home and fight the traffic coming over the bridge and the traffic coming through the tunnel, it, it, it's very relaxing to know that when I finally come to the top of the hill and I'm in Moraga, that it's going to be a real relaxing environment. It's going to be a real pleasant place to spend you know, an afternoon or an evening. Its natural beauty to me is astounding when I really get out there and out of my car. There are wonderful things. Um, a lot of the time we have deer running through the underbrush behind our house and uh, it feels uh, like we're very close to the edge of nature. I love the cows and I love the deer, um, looking at the hawks and the various birds in the sky. One of the things that we really like about Moraga that, that I don't think has changed since we've been living here has been the small town feel. I very much like the open space in Moraga, and I like it being quiet. I've lived in a number of cities and a number of large cities, and I do enjoy it, its quietness. I think Moraga has purposely kept itself a, a rural-like uh, town so that it would preserve that intimacy of spirit that one finds in a small town where people know one another and like one another and work together. Close to anywhere in Moraga are a wealth of places where people can walk, run, bike or stroll along miles of open space trails and meandering tree-lined paths. Much of the open space is protected, including the major ridge lines. With the location and surroundings this beautiful, Moragans use every excuse they can to get out and enjoy them. I appreciate all the open space, and because it is Moraga in part, I feel very safe being able to walk out to Canyon to the staging area by myself. We have so many hiking trails. It just extends them. You can hike from here to Castro Valley. Uh, you can hike the other way to San Ramon. So the bike trails are great fun. I mean, I, I really, really look forward to you know, riding throughout Moraga on this bike trail. When you've conquered your ride or hike, Know the exercise was worth it. Just relax for a moment and enjoy the view. The way the light comes down through those redwood trees, it's just like rays. And if you get that just at the right time, it's a beautiful picture. Moraga is a small town, a suburban village, a close-knit community. But by whatever name, what makes Moraga is its people. Okay. Its people are as important to the town as its location toddlers to teens, students to seniors. The community is made of people who have a strong passion for the way of life in Moraga. Active, knowledgeable people committed to families, friends, and community. What we see in Moraga is a sense of cooperation and understanding, a real sense of community. And that is what makes Moraga what it is. One of the things that speaks volumes for the town of Moraga is the very fact that there are generations of Moragans who have lived here. And I have a lot of friends who went to high school here and have now come back and are raising their families here. Well, my, my sons have a game they call sweet and sour. And when they're driving the car, if someone smiles and they're sweet, and if they don't smile, they're sour. And the rate of people in Moraga that are sweet is very high. If I were to summarize people in one word, it's just good people. I think if I had to pick one word that would describe a Moraga resident would be respectful. People here seem to be respectful of one another. We feel fortunate to be living here. And we feel like the people who live in this town, we're all lucky to be living here. Families move into Moraga because of its strong emphasis on a family-oriented community. There are active scouting and church youth groups. Sports programs for all ages are available through the schools and through the volunteer efforts of parents. LMYA, MBA, 
At MOL, we started years ago because parents recognize the need to provide quality sports opportunities for the children in the community. MBA began as parents deciding that they wanted a more structured baseball program. Uh, they wanted, they had kids who really wanted to play baseball more than one day a week, and parents really took it upon themselves to go out and develop a first class little league program. Just knowing how it works, it's almost strictly parent volunteers. Um, and that's nice too. I think it's important for the children to see that you're coaching, or you're, you're participating, you're keeping score, you're part of the whole process. The Moraga soccer program is fantastic. It's a great way to spend a Saturday morning or afternoon. The parents are very supportive. We have a lot of fun. I doubt there is an activity on the face of the earth that you can't find in Moraga. Moraga's strong community swimming programs got a boost when resident Matt Biondi took home seven medals in the 1988 Olympic Games. So the medal count continues for the great one from Moraga, California. Matt Biondi with his fourth... His swimming achievement is recognized by a commemorative fountain in Moraga Commons Park. Moraga is proud of its Olympians. Members of the community volunteer hundreds of hours in all aspects of community life. From a few hours a month to several hours a week, people give their time, energy, and ideas to help keep the community vitalized. People have to be involved in order to keep this town going. It's a town that uh, is made up of a lot of volunteers. So I would say involved is a very good word to describe um, the community here in Moraga. Volunteers have made Moraga the town that it is. Moraga has always had a strong commitment to provide excellent educational opportunities throughout its entire school system. Moraga schools, from kindergarten through high school, are known for their top academic ranking. I think the Moraga schools are wonderful because of the faculty, the teachers are excellent, but also because of the people that live in Moraga, the parents. The parents place a strong emphasis on education. I think the students in our schools really enjoy um, learning and being in school. It's, it's an exciting place for them to be. Um, they look forward to it. There's, it's not something where we have to encourage them to come in. It's, they're happy to be there and, and excited about learning. The teachers are good. The teachers have a lot of outside experiences. They're also very current on what works and what doesn't, and I think the schools are very concerned about that and are very good at keeping up to date with the newest you know, approach to math or the newest approach to reading. I know one of the things that drew us here were the schools, but I've had several friends, um, people I've worked with and, and known professionally, who've moved to Moraga specifically because of the schools. One way to see parent involvement at its finest is at the high school grad night. A year's worth of work on the part of parents and friends culminates in a safe and fun theme night for the graduates. The entire program is put together by parent volunteers, and they begin the process virtually the day after grad night end the previous year. The entire community eagerly anticipates the preview when the grad night theme is revealed and the work of the parents is open for everyone to see and a good time is always guaranteed. There are many notable graduates in the Moraga schools, including Steve Robinson, an astronaut who flew with Senator John Glenn on his return to space. St. Mary's College of California is one of the oldest and most distinguished liberal arts colleges in the West. Founded in San Francisco in 1863, St. Mary's moved to its current site in Moraga in 1928. During its history, St. Mary's has served not only as an educational institution and community resource, but also as a World War II Navy pre-flight training school. In 1970, St. Mary's became a co-educational institution. Today, St. Mary's continues to offer a wide range of educational opportunities and through a strong partnership with the community, offers countless activities. Opportunities to share fun times with families, friends, and neighbors happen all the time in Moraga. Volunteer community groups plan and provide many events for the town. One of the favorite annual events is the egg hunt. Kids and families from all over the town come out to enjoy a day of sunshine, fun, and good company. But the kids, they find the day rewarding in other ways, too. 
it's nothing like watching their faces as they pick up those little Easter eggs and put them in their little bags and their Easter baskets. One wonderful thing that the Park and Rec uh, does is it has concerts every Thursday night. A lot of people come out, little kids to seniors, and it's great fun. There is, of course, the fantastic July 4th celebration, an event anticipated year-round by everyone in the community. On the 4th of July in Murata, it's non-stop activity. But we have particular affinity for the uh, dog parade, and, which is a wonderful event on the 4th. I think the first event that we enjoyed in Moraga as a family was the 4th of July celebration with the pancake breakfast and the band playing and the kids parade and we just thought it was wonderful. What a, what a perfect community feel was generated there. The day of fun and activity culminates in a grand fireworks extravaganza. The Baraka Parks and Recreation Department is located at the Hacienda de las Flores and hosts classes and programs throughout the year. The Hacienda was once home to Donald Ream, who remodeled the house and grounds into a grand estate. It now provides a beautiful, historic setting for weddings, special occasions, as well as hosting the parks and recreation programs. The Hacienda is the hub of our activities, and there are programs from uh, mom and tot programs for the little ones, to wonderful activities for seniors, everything in between, from dog training to cooking to art classes, really almost anything that you could think of. We could make really cool stuff. We could make cars, boats. I, I have found all the teachers to be absolutely wonderful and the staff at the Hacienda, um, very supportive and very open-minded too. We have made excellent use of the parks in Moraga. It's nice for the parents. It's very safe and, and comfortable, and the kids love the park. Recreation, I think, is a real priority in this town, and there's a lot of opportunity for it. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you Moraga's secluded location naturally provides a safe environment. There's also a strong partnership between the citizens of the town and the community police, fire protection, and paramedic services. I think Moraga is about the safest place you can live. I do see the police around quite a bit. They're very friendly. They make a point of connecting with the people in Moraga. Just all in all, the cooperation with the police and the community, I think, makes this one of the safest places to live. I think one of our favorite events, and possibly because I have sons, is going to the fire department when they have their open house. It's a pleasure to be able to watch children riding their bikes around Moraga walking down to the store themselves and feel that, yes, they're okay and safe in doing that. What makes Moraga unique is that the town provides its own fire protection, as well as efficient and highly skilled paramedic and ambulance services in cooperation with the neighboring community of Arinda. Uh, we run two engine companies within Moraga, a paramedic transport service that we're very proud of, and we'll have a complete paramedic service on each of the engine companies throughout the fire district so that when you call the fire department, you get a paramedic no matter when. With the help of the Moraga Service League, Moraga received Rescue One, its first rescue van in 1970. The Rescue One Foundation provides support and public education services. Through the efforts of the community and the Moraga Historical Society, Moraga's rich history is revealed through photos, artifacts, landmarks, and more. Travel through Moraga today and you'll still see the town as it was not so many years ago. The Moraga Adobe, located on Joaquin Moraga's original 13,000 acre land grant, was home to Joaquin Moraga in the 1800s and is still a private residence today in nearby Orinda. The cows and horses on the hills give us insight into the early 1900s when the Sanders family, Carr family, and others used the rolling hills for their cattle ranching. The Carr Ranch continues as a working ranch. Standing among the wooden buildings of what was James Irvine's Moraga Company Ranch headquarters, it's easy to picture the vast agribusiness of years past, where farm hands harvested the bountiful pears and walnuts. 
you can still see many of the original pear and walnut groves. Take a walk by the Moraga Barn, the area's oldest building, built by Irvine as the Valley's Hotel. Imagine looking across the street to the old train station, with trains carrying goods and people to and from the area. Look inside the windows of what once was the Willow Springs School Building on School Street and imagine seeing the bright faces of students learning in what was Moraga's first modern school building. Drive out Moraga Road to Canyon and enjoy secondary growth redwood trees, a reminder of a lumbering industry that once labored there. Or drive down Country Club Drive and pass the historic 1914 urns marking the entrance of what was to have been the town site of Moraga. Donald Ream in the 1950s had a vision and built the Ream Shopping Center. Russell Brizzoni joined in the vision and built the Moraga Shopping Center in 1962. Today, the businesses and restaurants offer Moraga residents places to go without leaving their town. I love living in Moraga because, in part, it is self-contained. You can find just about everything you need right here in Moraga without having to go anywhere else. You know, I work in San Francisco, which has some of the best restaurants in, in the world, but if you ask me after I get home, where do I want to go eat, uh, they're all in Moraga. Recognizing its unique place in the Bay Area, Moraga's community has always made a special commitment to appreciate the past and the town's natural beauty, and to allow these elements to provide a vision for the future. Residents voted to become the town of Moraga in 1974. Self-determination has been essential in keeping the blend of community interests for harmony with its history and natural surroundings. Strong leadership and community involvement keeps the vision of the future alive. It's really the people's vision of Moraga that is now and will be the future. Moraga is a small town with a personality proud enough to shine among the big cities. It's a way of life. It's just the kind of place we all love to call home. Hello, my name is Merle Gilliland. I chair the committee established to work with others within the community to celebrate 25 years of Moraga as a town. We've had a number of events this year to recognize this 25 years, and I would hope that you would uh, take a few minutes to share with us some of those events. Dedicated on the 4th of July, the new Moraga History Center uh, is now open three days a week and, and is open to the public and folks who want to learn more about the history of the Moraga area. We were fortunate to have our inspiration, Brother Dennis Goodwin, attend uh, and speak about the history of Moraga area. We have a very rich history here. The reception and the dinner on Friday, October 22nd were really emblematic of the unity of the community. The reception featured collages by a number of the civic groups, including a lot of mementos of 1974, the year that the town incorporated. It was followed by a wonderful and well-attended dinner. With a keynote address by Brother Mel Anderson. We also had dancers from the California Academy of Performing Arts. It brought the house down. The parade this year was a lot of fun, and uh, it was fun to organize. It, there was a lot of enthusiasm built up throughout the community, and we were so pleased to have such a great representation. We had everybody from school children to um, the teenagers to the older population of Moraga. Some of the outstanding um, parts of the parade were our dignitaries. They were one of the highlights of the parade. What's the Pear Festival all about? Well, it's about celebrating pears in Moraga. Moraga's had pears around for almost 100 years, and now they're dropping on the ground. And now today, we're celebrating them by learning about them through the historical society, selling pear pies, giving away pieces of pear, and uh, having fun with the kids. And boy, look at them. They're enjoying the pears today. This is the Roundup, biggest party in town. Everyone in town is here having a good time. Uh, 
time. Good time will be had by all.